Hello friends, in this video, we will see some problems related to the profit and loss. Uh, for example, if a person sells two similar items, if a person sells two similar items, two similar items, one item, one item at gain of X percentage and another item at the loss of X percentage. So then the seller always going to be incur loss only. Always incurs to the always incurs a loss. And thus loss, loss percentage is given by loss percentage is equal to common loss or gain percentage by 10 and overall square and overall square so in our case it is x so that can be written as x by 10 whole square x by 10 whole square so whenever there is a two similar items are there one is sold at the gain of x percentage and another one is sold at the loss of x percentage okay so then the always the seller is going to be get a loss and that loss percentage is given by common loss or gain percentage by 10 to the power of 2 10 to the power of 2 so in our case the common loss or gain is x so x by 10 to the power of 2 ok so how we got this one let us assume so there is a cost price of one article ok the similar items cost price is x so first we are sending x percentage gain ok and second we are sending selling that one for the loss of x percentage again x percentage loss is there so on cost price two successive percentage changes are there so one is at the rate of increment and one is at the rate of decrement ok i mean the loss here gain here loss is there so the overall percentage change is given by a plus b plus a b by 100 so i already told this one in the previous video so here increment is there I mean the gain is there, we write plus x. So whenever there is a loss percentage there, we write minus x plus. So here x into minus x by 100 by 100. So plus x minus x is cancelled x into minus x. So that is going to be minus x square by 100. So minus x square by 100 can also written as minus x by 10 overall square. So this minus represents loss. So that's why always incurs a loss. So whenever they, we are sending, selling two similar items, one is at the gain of x percentage, one is at the loss of x percentage, then it is always going to be the loss. And that loss percentage is given by x by 10 to the power of square percentage. And this one will give the loss percentage. So we will see one problem based on this concept. Okay, let us assume there are two chairs are there two chairs are there two similar chairs are there so one is sold at 12 percentage gain and another one is sold at 12 percentage loss 12 percentage loss ok so we have to find the overall percentage I mean overall gain or loss overall gain or loss so we have to find that one and each shares cost is 308 rupees ok so I mean two ch similar shares are there each share sold at 308 rupees so on which we anchor 12 percentage gain so one chair is sold at 12 percentage gain and another chair is sold at 12 percentage loss we have to find the overall gain or loss percentage of the seller ok so in this case if you see so 12 percentage gain and 12 percentage loss so that means the common loss or gain is so the loss uh, always it is going to be the loss because in this concept of exploration we have seen that there is always going to be the loss and that loss percentage is given by minus I mean minus ok so and then the common loss or gain percentage common gain 
or last percent so that is 12 here common is 12 here also common is 12 12 by 10 so that is 10 overall square so that is going to be 2 6 and 2 5 so 6 square is 36 and 5 square is 25 so this is going to be 25 1 ja 25 and 11 left 11 by 25 percentage loss loss okay it is always going to be the loss only it is always going to be the loss okay if two shares are sold at rate t0 at rupees so one uh, chair at the rate of 12 percentage gain and another chair at the loss of 12 percentage okay so then we have to find the overall gain or per loss percentage so it is always going to be the loss whenever we sold two identical article uh, articles at one is at uh, same percentage gain and another one is at the same percentage loss so the overall loss is given by x square by i mean x by 10 old square so that is here we have x as 12 so we substitute the value 12 by 10 to the power of whole square so that is going to be 111 by 25 so i hope you got this one so whenever you got this kind of problem use this trick common loss or gain by 10 to the power of square so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel